Hi everybody, Julia Stock, Business Revolutionary with Be Astute. We are continuing our A to Z of business vocab. And today we are covering K. It's got to be key performance indicators, hasn't it? Uh, KPIs are so useful. Yeah, you're right. I'm a data nerd. What they can do is be our early warning system. Um, it's those key numbers that we are running every day. And I'm genuinely serious about the need to run them every day and share them every day. Once you get to a certain size as a provider, your numbers change every day, which is why you need a system that can be day-to-day -day accurate. And if you're at a time of the year where big changes are happening, you need to have a system where you can press that button and spit out your numbers multiple times a day so you can really get a handle on where you're at, what's happening, and use that to drive success and performance. And the provider that I used to run, we had four key numbers sitting on a whiteboard in our office. Actually, they sat on a whiteboard in every office. We had somebody run them every morning and then um, make sure that those numbers on those whiteboards were updated because it was really, really important that our staff knew where we were at. We were tracking the number of starts in the month. Um, we had a general target of 200 starts per month. Um, and we would be tracking through the month how close we were to that. We would be looking at the number of learners in training at any one time. Again, it can change on a day-to-day -day basis because learners start and stop every day. We would be looking at the number of people passing, completing, yippee, that, you know, triggers money. We would also be looking at the number of learners who were beyond their expected end date because at that point, quite honestly, we're training them for free. And that has a massive impact on profitability. Those four numbers informed a whole bunch of other questions. You can be hitting your starts target, but your numbers aren't going up. That may be because the same number of learners is falling off the back end that month, at which point you've got a really great month, but your overall staffing is unaffected. Great. It may be you've hit your starts and you don't have a lot of people leaving training through success that month, but your numbers are still not going up. Okay, that's where we've got the data to go and ask questions around why have the number of learners in training not gone up when we were expecting them to. Often that's where you've got breaks in learning kicking in um, and it's one of those eternal struggles um, to make sure that learners are only taking a break in learning when they absolutely have to um, and that we're managing that process effectively. Um, and that's a key killer in terms of growth and profitability and performance when just as fast as you're trying to fill the pot, the pot is emptying back out again. And this is where key performance indicators allow you to have a data-informed conversation. If we want to hit 200 starts, we knew that the rough conversion rate was 50% of all applicants would drop out between application and starting training. So if I want 200 in a month, I need 400 applicants. That's 100 applicants a week. That's 20 a day. So then you can go looking and seeing and asking the question, how many applications have we had today? Are we on track? So these four key numbers would then drive a whole range of other conversations, which is why KPIs are really, really, really cool, just in terms of the overall mechanics of running that business, staffing that business. If your numbers are rapidly rising, we need to recruit more staff. I'd like to know about that sooner rather than later. I don't want to be recruiting staff based on a projection I did three, six, nine months previously. I need to do it based on actual performance because I'm either recruiting at just the right time, too early, too late. We want to be recruiting based on actual need, not projected need. So this is why KPIs are really cool. Again, if you would like to discuss any of those issues, um, please get in touch. More than happy to have a chat and see what KPIs would be amazing for you. Thank you very much.